Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your total lunar eclipse reading. So this is in your sign, Taurus. We're going to see how it's going to affect you. Astrologically speaking, uh, we will not have another total lunar eclipse for another three years in astrology. So we're going to see what's happening for you and how this will affect you. This is a pretty strong lunar eclipse. Uh, yeah, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. There are scammers about, so I'd rather give you the address than put the link down below because they were redirecting the link. Scammers, okay? So know you'll always see my face. Your video will always be on this channel. I do not do phone, uh, phone readings. And yeah, if you're questioning, is that me or is it not me? It's not me. If you have to question it, it's not me. All right, so let's see what's going on with your overall energy, Taurus. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Swords. So this total lunar eclipse, right, in your first house of self is all about fate and destiny as well. And what do we have but the wheel of fortune here? So I feel like what's going to happen is something that is meant for you is going to, excuse me, find you. And we'll see who that is. Now, it could be this king of swords, could be Libra, um, death clarifying the king of swords um so this could be libra gemini aquarius usually it's a libra for me as a reader now this person could be from the past with the six of cups could be somebody that broke your heart with the three of swords could have been a third party situation uh scorpio could have been <laughs> death card is scorpio so this could have been um, significant okay in your past so let's see what's going on because your challenge is interesting you are in your challenge with the king of Pentacles and it's interesting that your challenge to be yourself okay so we're gonna get to that in a moment but let's see what the king of swords says what is the king of swords okay so we have death, the hermit, and the six of swords. So I feel like if this is somebody from your past, they could be coming back, but they could be coming back in your mind, in your auric field. Okay, and I say that because the hermit is here. So if you're doing some healing, if you're, you know, really putting to bed a situation with the death card or transforming, transmuting some sort of energy to find peace within you, then this is going to take place. Let's clarify the six of cups. Why is this here? The sky father. Oh, and that. The four of wands. Wow, and the wheel of fortune. So something is faded for you, Taurus, all right? This, okay, is stability. This is talking about celebration, right, and commitment. So I feel like with the, your overall energy, I feel like you're going to have a lot to celebrate. It could be an emperor coming into your life. Uh, it could be this king of swords, or it could be somebody else. And this is why the King of Swords is coming up for you. Who is this King of Swords to Taurus? Spirit of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. So this is new love. This Emperor is new love. And the Wheel of Fortune here is a new beginning. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Strength. 
Okay. So whatever it is about this emperor, I feel like this emperor comes into your life at a time when you're, it's, I don't want to say needing strength. I want to say it's a time when you're being strong for, for a particular reason. Why do you need strength? Okay, to take action on something. So I feel like you're going towards a passion, right? And you're taking action on something that you're needing strength for. And this emperor comes along, comes across your path. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Two of Cups. You have the Spirit of Wands and you have the Sage. So definitely, definitely, definitely a soulmate, okay? Uh, that you're going to feel an extreme, I'm hearing, connection with. They will alter your way of being. They will shift your perspective. Save your focus. And they're going to save your focus. I'm not understanding save your focus. Okay. Okay. They're going to let your awareness be divine. Now that makes sense with the Hierophant here. All right. I feel like they want to commit to you. This is a spiritual connection. So it's like they're allowing this spiritual connection. Okay. And you're going to see them for who they are. But this is going to totally shift your way of thinking, your experience in this life. Tell me about the Three of Swords, the Earth Mother, the Sun, and the Four of Swords. So there's something, again, that you put to bed with the Four of Swords here. And it's because of this happiness. It's because of this Sun card. This is Leo energy, right? And this is a result, this is this healing. Again, we have you here with the Earth Mother, but this could also be Libra. Yeah, justice, as I say that. So this could definitely be a Libra from the past. Innocence of swords. So you're going to be really looking within. That is what you're doing. You're looking within because you want to be happy, because you want to move forward with this new individual. And there's something that is sort of lingering, right, that you need to let go of. So you're seeking that truth in order to balance your thought process, your way of being, okay? Okay, so your challenge here is the moon card, the lovers. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, sorry, the Queen of Wands. So, wow. Are you choosing? Okay. Your challenge is to find out what's hidden within you. And this has to do with this Innocence of Swords. When you're looking within, when you're looking towards the past to do some healing... There is something that you're missing about yourself that will be a challenge for you to find. And I feel like it's this Queen of Wands energy. This Queen of Wands is confident. This Queen of Wands is fire, right? Is somebody who knows how to manifest, is a very magical creature. So let's see what the Queen of Wands is. What is the Queen of Wands? The Tower. Yep. The Two of Pentacles. Whoops. And the heart of swords so there is a recognition and very much an illumination to the truth of your heart now there could also be some sort of decision that you're making the spirit of swords okay and you're needing to find that excitement within you that I want to say childlike exuberance. Yeah, innocence of pentacles. Okay, that excitement in order to make this decision. Get excited about the next phase of your journey because when you discover this something about yourself, 
okay there's going to there's going to be and i want to say no stopping you because that's what i'm hearing so it's this queen of wands within you that needs to emerge and it will but you have to discover him or her it's just feminine energy but it's a very powerful feminine energy so clarifying the moon card is the innocence of cups the heart of pentacles and the nine of pentacles okay so see now this is a part of what you're going to find the moon is about what's hidden and it's coming under the queen of wands right but it's also talking about independence right it's talking about abundance standing on your own right there's a single bird here and balance you notice the bird is balancing so that two of pentacles is also talking about balance within you now this talks about that childlike energy and the opportunity to incorporate this excitement uh, within you okay incorporate this into the queen of wands in order to move forward so clarifying the king of pentacles is the lovers is the ace of pentacles and the two of swords so it's going to be a challenge for you to choose love to choose possibly between two people it could be this king of swords and the emperor who knows but the two of swords it's like you're anchored somewhere and you need to lift off that's what i'm hearing lift off so you need to fly that's what i'm getting so are you going to choose love and if so who are you choosing because there is a huge opportunity here that you need to take hold of why the two of swords because this is a decision about where you're going to plant your seed where you're going to be rooted and whom you're going to be rooted with one more yeah the ace of wands so which path excites you the most this is passion this is a new beginning but an exuberant new beginning so tell me about the lovers card the seven of swords the movement of cups and the four of cups okay you are challenged to notice the opportunity that's being presented to you in the form of a lover so you have to be careful of self-sabotage with the seven of swords why the seven of swords because there's so much communication happening within you so much that you're going through you're talking yourself out of it that's what i'm feeling yeah fears this is part of your fear being abandoned being left out in the cold feeling like you're lacking something these are all thoughts that you're going that is going on within your mind right so how are you going to work this out what are you going to be building are you going to be choosing between two people but your fears okay you have the devil and the lovers which is sort of yin yang so um some of you could be dealing with a twin it doesn't have to be but I like to tell you when I notice it and it comes to my attention. So with the devil card, you really have to overcome your fears in order to not self-sabotage this situation because it is in your challenge. Wow. So your outcome, Taurus, is the three of wands, the nine of wands, the princess of pentacles, and the four of wands. So what you've been waiting for okay is here now mind you this is potential energy you need to take advantage of it if you do nothing nothing will happen so you need to you know take inspired action and you know allow that to lead your way allow your heart to lead your way so with the four of wands this is talking about commitment this is talking about possible marriage it's what you've been waiting for but you know there's a lot of wounds that you are dealing with so you're going to take things slow with the princess of pentacles clarifying the four of wands is the seven of wands the temperance card and the eight of wands so ooh, taurus there's a lot of passion between you and a significant other here 
you are being guided together by this guardian angel with the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. And there is that balance, right? There is that balance. It's, it's like, I feel like you recognize them as the other, your other, your other piece to your heart. This is a lot of passion. Yeah. So this allows you to let go of the past, let go of this hurt that you're healing with this overall energy. This allows you to let go. Tens are about endings and beginnings. So something's ending finally and something is beginning. So clarifying the three of wands is the two of wands, the five of wands, and the high priestess. Your intuition already told you this. Your intuition told you um, it's like you may have felt like you were waiting for something because your intuition was telling you, and it is here. You may have been conflicted and may have questioned it. Why? Because of other people. Because of other people trying to talk you out of it. Because of other people trying to emotionally manipulate you. Yeah, so waiting. That's what you were doing, waiting, trying to look at your life from a different perspective. Yeah, and moving slow because of it. But I feel like you're hanging on to your intuition. Don't let other people talk you out of a situation. If this is your decision, this is your decision. So clarifying the nine of wands is the four of pentacles, the ten of cups, and the magician card. So look what you manifested. And you're not letting go of it. And they're not letting go of you. Mm -mm. This is, I'm hearing you're the one that I want, right? This is the one that you want. And you're not letting go. All right. So clarifying the princess of pentacles, you have the moon, the naked heart. Wow. And the nine of cups. So you're deciding to unleash this vulnerability that's been sort of locked in a cage within you. You're unleashing it because this is a wish come true. Hey, that rhymed. So Taurus, you're gonna take your time, but slowly but surely you are opening up and being vulnerable because of this clarity and truth that this is your happiness. This is your abundance. No longer are you confused here. No longer are you anxious and fearful because you've healed, because you've gained the confidence in yourself and belief in yourself to trust that what you're being led to and whom you're being led to is the one for you. So this may take some time to play out. I do not feel like this is like going to happen right away. I'm feeling, they're saying, four months. So within the next four months, this could all play out for you. So, wow, let's get some advice here. We have the universe, the chariot, and the innocence of wands. So pay attention to the messages you're sending out into the universe, all right? Um, when you're visualizing, make sure that you're visualizing, you know, try to be as specific as possible. It will never show up exactly the way, well, sometimes it will, but exactly the way that you imagine it. But pay attention to the messages you are sending, right? You know how they say, be careful what you wish for. Just be careful about what you're saying to the universe about this new beginning. And really pay attention to the abundance that is already around you and appreciate it, I'm getting. Uh, with the chariot, this is also twin flame energy in this deck for me. They're saying go forward from the heart space. Allow the divinity within you to guide you forward. And what did I say? Didn't I say fly? Look at the wings on the chariots. Right? On the wings of love. That's what they're giving me now. Wow. So, let's get... I want to get... And Angels of Atlantis card for you, Taurus. Let's see which angel, what message do you need to hear? 
I'm not even going to ask for advice because I don't feel that you need it. I feel the only advice you need is to follow your heart and allow that divine uh, within you to lead you. And this person is allowing that as well. And that came out in the overall, whoops, in the overall energy. I'm going to take this one. Hang on. All right. So we have Raphael, empathy. Now this is about healing. Green is about healing. You've got green and pink, which is the heart chakra and the higher heart chakra. So let's see. Raphael. Raphael. See, now I have the feeling that this empathy is going to help you with, um, I'm hearing intuition, but with your uh, anxiety, with your fears, okay? Because your focus is not on, you know, the internal, driving yourself crazy. It's on really the external in others. So let's see, the empathy, empathy. Raphael brings to you the oracle of the empathetic and reminds you of the simplicity of the beautiful lotus. The lotus is the symbol of enlightenment, which sinks below water during the night to be reborn in the light of day. Perhaps your empathy has waned recently and needs to be restored by the new light of compassion. Be with the sun, allowing its energies to warm and nourish you. Try to move through the challenges that you face with empathy, humor, and love. Chant Ha through the heart chakra and Raphael's energy will fill you as an aid. So I would say start with appreciation because this is exactly what this is starting from uh, with the beautiful lotus. Appreciation of all that's abundant around you and the people around you and trying to hmm, Absorb the energies of the sun because the sun has so much to offer. So get out into the sunlight and absorb this so that you can then give this light away, right? Um, and it, it, I also feel it's going to help illuminate in others sort of, how can I explain this? What you need to see in others in order to, to, to be empathetic is going to shine. It's like you're just going to connect with it. So I feel like the sun is directly correlated with the empathy that you will feel for others. You need that light, okay? It's like it's, it's being transferred, okay? And transmuted, really, okay, into something else that will aid you, all right? So Taurus, this is what I have for you. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com and there are various readings to choose from. Make sure that you're looking at how many readings I've done. There are scammers out there who keep redirecting uh, it, links that I'm making so on and so forth. So if you go directly to the website, and not the website, well, Etsy's store, my storefront, make sure that it says over 660 readings, okay? If it doesn't, it's not my store. And make sure that you're seeing your video, your completed reading on my channel. And if it's not, and if you've gotten one done, Taurus, that is not on my channel, and that you question whether or not it's me, then send the video to YouTube, please, and report the peeps. All right, so you have a good one, Taurus, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.